let's first of all, I would like for us to understand our breast and why breast cancer. And you know, you being a woman, you are at risk of developing the disease because we have boobs. <laughs> so let's try to understand breast, all right? Okay, let's understand. Okay, we are talking about the three methods. You see, we need to understand the things that we need to do, and that is what I want you to take from the But as I said from the beginning, it's for you to be aware that there are three very important things that you can do to prevent breast cancer. And so let's just look at this. You can see that there are three main parts in the breast. We have the guts. And the guts are this one. You see, when you look at here, you can see the guts are these ones. And the purpose of these ones is to carry milk uh, from the blood to the nipple. Okay? And so we have connective tissues. And the connective tissues is this yellow spot you see here. It just holds the breast together. And it is the chest in there. So that is. How the breast is made up of eyeballs. Okay, so what is breast cancer? So breast cancer is when blood, I mean when cancer cells comes here and affects the tissue. The common one is ductocarcinoma, that's just a name given to it because normally they are the they are named based on where they are. And for this one, the common one is ductocarcinoma, and this one, uh, it, it affects the lining of the guts. So, hence the name. And as you can see here, they have this picture I can show you. This is the gut, so it can affect any of this the lining of this. And as I say, the guts are the ones which carry more, so they are like little tubes which carry the lining. So, if cancer affects this, Okay. According to what we are finding here, that is, you can see in 2013 the estimates of those who have had breast cancer were over 200,000. That's a lot of people. And as you see, and the men, breast cancer does not only affect women, it also affects men. And as you can see, the condition of women is 2,000. The, I mean, it's better to have breast cancer. And so, look at the depth. You see, when you look at this number here, this is not a pretty number. There are women who are dying, who are expected to get it, and who are expected to die. This is the ones who, when you look at this, you see the women who are getting it, and the ones who are dying from it. Look at the other side here, you see the men, and the men too. So it feels a new body. And also, so you see, this can be detected if only people will be able to do what they need to do to prevent the disease. Okay, when you look at this other side here, we are seeing people who are diagnosed already with breast cancer in 2020. And you see, it's over 200,000. That's another big number. And also, look at the deaths now here. You see, this is body, but looking at here, at least lesser people, you know. Mm -hmm. And now, so something is is being done, at least about this kind of nature. It doesn't uh, affect a lot of people. So as you can say, it is seven times a year. And mostly, it, as I said, it will affect anybody despite of the race or where you come from. And mostly, the way we are found in studies is the, the white women. They get it more. They, they get it more than they are diagnosed with it. And the, the Hispanics are dying more from breast cancer. The second number that is dying more is the African American and other races. So, although the white women are being diagnosed, uh, they are being di diagnosed more of them, as, as I said, the dead, the, the African 
Americans are being diagnosed with light when the pain has already advanced, and so more of them than blue. So that is the issue. But the white people are able, they get it, they have it more, but they are not dying because they are getting care. So they, that is how the difference is. The Hispanic women, breast cancer is the first, is the number one thing. First of all, for you to know that you have to understand the body. You have to know how you are going to it. You must know the shape, you must know how to do it. So you should be able for every moment to look at yourself just to make sure you know. You should feel your feelings to know how they feel. You know, that way. The reason is because if there is any change that you feel, then you can you can say. For example, if you have if you touch here and you feel a sweating or a lump, then you feel something and then you can you start to raise a gun in your head and say, Oh, I need to go and say to somebody about this. I need to go here and I need to go and check it and see what is how you can get taken taken care of. Okay, sometimes you you can have irritation on your nipples and then you can also you are precise. You see if your breast are not as small. You see, one of them might look bigger than the other one, then you need to, to notice that change and then report it immediately to the doctor. One thing we need to put in mind is this, that these symptoms can also be confused with other symptoms. You can have the breast irritation, like sometimes when you are supposed to have your videos, sometimes you will start to feel that some irritation in your breast, if you feel it, that's your business. But before, we don't want to take everything normal. We have to do something about it. You, especially when you really suspect, I don't know if you like this. I think I have a, some heat, some anything, it can be. So sometimes you, your nipple may just go backwards, and now you're like, oh, look what's happening, you see. Any changes in your body, in, especially your breast, it's very important that you see it next to that. So as you can see, Which are cheap and eaten to them. Breast cell, what, the first one is breast cell examination. And as I said, it's just being able to look at your body and see. Sometimes you, like, where, like um, this one. This one is when you are lying. You, you can do it in several ways. First of all, when you get up, you can just stand in the front of the mirror. Go like this, look, and see how it Okay, you can, on the, uh, uh, whatever, in your, whatever in your room, when you get up or anytime you choose, you go there, lay down on the floor, put your hand, a pillow, go like this, go touch your breast, just look, there, and see how it goes. These are the patterns that you can use. This one's right here. You can begin it from here. We use the we use these fingertips this way. And you know what? This is the one you can just go like this, press it a little hard. I, I know this and I did I was trying to take the one here at the ampli and I press it so hard I think I did I mean I press it like that. <laughs> so be light of yourself, but just to make sure you put a little pressure so that you don't hurt yourself. So you can Go like this all the way down 
So that's very important. And as I say, this is a cheap thing that anyone can do. Now we have, the, most of, of the insurance companies, if you have insurance, they will cover them. And now with Obamacare, probably it will be free also for everybody. So this is something that we need to find, to start thinking about, to start farming, to go and do, because it is very important for us, you see. So, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's see what has been happening with us. It's about the, the African American class and I all mean, this. According to uh, CBC, women, they did that study, and they found that women this age, 50 to 75, when you look at the graph, you see, what can you tell me about this graph? Can someone tell me something? What do you see? The more African-American. Mm -hmm. what, what, what can you tell me about this? Is the woman going to take a picture? Or she has to go around? Yeah, okay, then you can, yeah, you can say that. Yeah, she can talk to some of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you see, uh, thank you very much for your answer. But let me, one thing which is struck me as I look at this data is because mammogram, I didn't know a lot of people are doing mammogram. This is really good because it's about 50% of the American women. You see, this is, we are talking about the United States. And so, really, a lot of people are doing it. You know, they are going. And so, this is kind of, I was impressed. Even when I look at this, the people they are saying, oh, we can die. <coughs> With it, look at the Hispanic, they are 69 percent. They are they had mammogram screening mm -hmm. by breast care. You know, that is really good. And so, and if that can be that is just a motivation for me who is really concerned about the disease to go ahead and I mean just try to talk more. I can't be quiet because I see things are going good. Because there are those, how about the other person, 30 percent, who are not going to? You see, we need to move as I want to the church, so you know I will try to talk to the women. I deal with the women all the time in my church. And all the time I would like to talk about these issues. People are concerned. And let me tell you why I got interested in this. I'm going to tell you this one. And it's because uh, I have an auntie. My auntie died from breast cancer. And she told me that she felt her mom. And she told the husband that he can not do anything. And she didn't even know it was anything because she thought it was just some swelling, you know. But it was too late. So now that was in Africa, and now we decide to what? Where can we do? Okay, the doctor, they always do stage three. So stage three, they stage cancer based on how how it is going. I mean, how where it has originated from, and the, I mean, how it is growing. How I mean, the first at, at which it's going, you know. At that time, my auntie was first in stage one, stage two, and she was in stage four. In Kenya, they say, there's nothing we can do wrong. And so, our family, they, they had some little money. They are wealthy, they had money. So they decided, oh, we need to sell us to the United States. She, she was brought up here. She went, she went to the doctors, and they said it's too late. Because they thought, oh, it's America. They know more. They can do something. But it was already, when she went, it was already stage four. So they, they did not save the money. So <coughs> when they, she came, they said, there's nothing you can do. So they said, they sent her back home. She came back and she died. So, I mean, that is, if she had known, that was lack of knowledge. But here I am standing, trying to tell you something which can help you. So don't let it happen. Just go, even to yourself. So that's, that's all that I had. And now before I can, I'm going to have um, my assistant, <laughs> <laughs> very nice. And then she, she's going to be able to pass. This is just like, it, it's a post test. It's just like what you did. And it just wants to tell me what steps you're planning to take based on the information that I have given. And that will help. Thank you so much for listening, for your participation. And don't forget to, to take them out if you can pass them to